So yesterday there was a new update, the PvP Arena Rewards Beta. The PvP Arena is coming in a few months hopefully, and it's going to be like an NH tourney thing that replaces the Duel Arena. And from this you can get some PvP Arena Rewards. So we've got some new Blighted Sacks. Also get Imbued Scrolls, that is so freaking good. I cannot explain how annoying it is getting the Imbued Rings from Nightmare Zone. I wanted to add it to LMS, um, I think that would have been a great place for it. But the fact that they're adding it to this new Duel Arena is pretty good. We also get the wristbands of the Arena which basically look like just Barrow's gloves, except instead of 41 defense, you only need 20 defense, which I think is a really cool thing. Got the Centurion Curos, or however you're supposed to say it, which is pretty much exactly the same as the Fighter Torso, but with higher defense. And next we have the Calamity set. So I think Calamity is essentially just the same as Void, but a little bit stronger. 12.5% increase melee damage and some damage reduction as well. And then you have the Koref's set, which I'm assuming is ranged. Yep, it is ranged, about the same thing. Thing. We've got Saker's headgear set, which is the magic set. 12.5% increase in magic and damage. That seems really, really strong, especially in NHing. All right, so we've got the strongest of the tiers all set up, which is the Elite Calamity with the Great Helm, the Koyaf, and the Shroud, which is the melee ranged and mage versions of the setup. All right, so first, let's see how strong all these melee weapons are now. A 90, and then with a Gmol, we can hit a 50. That is actually insane. Then what can we hit with a DDS, I wonder? 48, 48, which is the current max hit, so no increase there. And then with Claws, you can hit a 44. I'm pretty sure that's a 90 as well, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the best in slot damage for ranged. Now the previous max hit with this was a 77. Let's see if it increases. 76. So I think that's the same, if not just a touch weaker than Void, but I think it is more accurate, plus you get that damage reduction effect as well. So that's really, really strong. And last but not least, the Maged version. Now, Mage Void was previously pretty crap. Um, it didn't really have a big damage bonus on it. I think it was only like 1.5 or 2.5% or something. So I'm pretty sure this is mainly going to be competing with Ancestral. So let's see how the previous max hit of 80 compares with this. 82, so we get two more max hits with the Volatile Nightmare stuff. And the new max hit with Fire Surge is... 51! That is also two max hits above the previous max hit. And you're dead. Wow. 39 Barrage. 49 Bolt. Come on, Bolt Spec, finish it. 46 Bolt. Holy shit, this is strong. Oh, 40 Barrage. 39k with Barrage. That is insanely strong. It's actually pretty cool that I'm able to try Brid in literally max hits for everything. And I don't even have that many switches and I've even got the volley. I think that is a huge plus for try breeding. Oh, 67. GG. I need to remember as well, I can hit a 90 in this gear. A fucking 90. Oh, 85. <laughs> GG. 45. And you're dead. GG. <laughs> Oh, these guys have no idea. Oh, 50 bulk here. He doesn't realize I'm one ticking. <laughs> oh god, good fight. That is, holy shit, that's broken. You can hit over 150 damage in one tick now. Oh, 51, <laughs> what the? I wanna hit a 5190. And, oh, 100 damage, just like that. And it's over. <laughs> Bro. 
Imagine that in... P oh, that's going to be so much fun in PvP. Anyway, so in conclusion, I think this armor is heaps of fun to use. The one thing that Jagex should probably move from it is the damage reduction. If anything, you should actually be taking more damage in this gear, not less, because you are, um, you know, outputting an insane amount of DPS. That's pretty much the only change that I would make to this armor. I feel that it's pretty balanced compared to the current metas in the game. Like, it's only a couple max hits, which isn't too big of a deal. Am I forgetting anything, chat? I think this is good. This is somewhat balanced compared to his setup. He just has the DCB and Varax legs, and I have the Carol setup instead. But other than that, it's about the same. So it should be fun. Right, this actually is so much fun, I have to say. I've got to NH for this more often. It's just a shame that it's not accurate on the tracker. Oh my! That- oh! The big risk sitting low health worked out. That was actually pretty cool. That was really fun. I've got to do some more NH stakes with the carols. That was really, really cool. Oh, we got some bonds coming in from our boy, Mr. Ahink. Thank you, sir. On top of the 125 gift yesterday. Absolute legend. Okay, we are now doing a 200 mil NH tourney hosted by Queens. We'll be going for our 21st NH tourney win. There are some big names though, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. So far, so good. Next, we are up against Mr. Machiavelli. Now, he is very good, so uh, yeah, hopefully we get some good RNG. Nice. Now, the semi-finals against Mr. HKBot007. Let's see how we go on 280 ping. Fuck these servers, man. We're actually getting really good RNG. Usually I get shitty RNG in Tawny's and I just have to like... Super sweat? Uh, we're getting good RNG here, which is nice. We won a tracker, but still, bro, that was like unlosable. Finals against our boy Adam, who is one of the best NHs in the game. We both agreed to just do a best of one on his ping, simply to speed this whole thing up since we are good friends and we're just gonna split the money 50 50 anyway. Splashing a lot, not ideal, but we've already won, so it's all good. There, no, missed it. Well, we won anyway. <laughs> At least we secured an official 21st tourney win. But man, that was a pretty much a draw on tracker as well, I think. Yeah, draw on tracker. 27, 26. Tourney win number 21 or 22, I can't remember right now. Thank you to Queens for hosting. It was lots of fun. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.